Aloha, my name is Corbin Tamander. I'm the manager of alumni services at BYU Hawaii. I just had a wonderful evening here at the BYU Management Society um, Hong Kong chapter event where we heard from some of the business leaders in the area. We had some really good insight from, not only from the panel discussers, but also from the audience who were in attendance, the other chapter leaders uh, from, from Singapore, Mongolia, and Japan, and Korea, uh, and as well as some of the local business owners who happened to attend, shared some of their experiences, some of their thoughts, uh, I thought it was really interesting. Uh, sometimes ethics is a little bit more ambiguous than you might expect, but we all really know where the line is and what you should do in order to stay on the right side of that line. Some of the challenges in, in dealing with countries and you know that difference, that, that line between what's legal and what is ethical and that those lines aren't exactly the same and how people have dealt with that that something might be legal but it isn't in the country but it isn't particularly ethical as far as behavior and, and how people have had to deal with that difference um, because it helps me understand how would I deal with it what would I do I find an impression to be to correct the, the crowd to be careful it's the dishonest people who like you to think that the whole China is corrupt yeah China may have a lot of corrupted, a fair share of corrupt people, but there are a lot of good people in China. And the system, I think overall, the basic system is sound, but corrupt people try to take advantage, right? So I, I find that that's an important point to make, to let people know that while there are a lot of corruption in China, China it's because there are a lot of corrupt people, but do not infer that the whole country is corrupt, there's no good people in China, and that would be, a, to me, a, a sad thing. Provide the kind of environment depending on the behavior that we want to induce in a person. And so if we provide an environment of trust and confidence, then that will be the culture that will exist in that company. If I can be true to my standard, then eventually in the longer term, that I can build up a good reputation and that I can win over the uh, business partners and uh, customers and uh, it will be beneficial for both for the customers and for myself, so it's a win-win. This has been a wonderful opportunity to learn about moral and ethical leadership and network with people from all over the world. Uh, this is an opportunity for students to meet with professionals and plan for their careers, their internships and jobs and get great advice from those who are working in the field. Uh, it should be understood that Management Society it's not just for business people, but for anybody who wants to grow moral and ethical leaders around the world. As a student at BYU, we protect by honor code a lot, and uh, but so we don't know that the real working experience. Different country has different ways to like business to do ethical. You stand for what you believe. No matter what you want to say, you gotta think first and you gotta think about your company, your company's culture and what he stands for. You can make ethical decisions anywhere you are in the world regardless of what that culture is. As a member of the church, um, we have our own standards. So one thing to keep in mind is keeping our high standard up high and yeah, we'll do good in business. The most important thing of getting in a career is um, you should be. You should have the same value with the with the company. If not, um, I think you should better. Be I know in the real world, if you can do things well and do things in the ethical way, you can be successful in future. The assistant, the BYU Management Society, their value and tonight's event makes me feel like I'm not alone. So in the future, if I encounter any problems with these kind of situations. I know who I can talk to and I know I'm not alone. I want to thank the Management Society for bringing us uh, all of the different chapters here to, to receive training. It's been very enlightening and very, enlightening and very inspirational. Uh, the most important part is actually getting to meet the other chapter uh, members and uh, developing a relationship with them, which, was, which is great. We are now, I, I will consider lifelong friends. We'll be uh, working together and helping grow the Management Society here in Asia.